Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Transport Minister Bladen Zimande has announced the launch of a revised taxi recapitalization program. Tasneem Bulbulia joins me to discuss the new program. Hi Tasneem. Hi Sheila. What are the most important changes under the revised program? Thank you, Chanel. The revised taxi recapitalization program, or the RTRP, resumed in March with the appointment of a new service provider, Anthus Services 84, as the technical partner responsible for the administration and management of the program. Moreover, government has decided to increase the scrapping allowance from 91,100 Rand to 124,000 Rand for scrapped old taxi. Zimande indicated that the increase would help to address concerns raised by those in the taxi industry that the previous amount was insufficient to replace their vehicles. What is Minister Nzimande hoping to achieve with the new program? Well, Nzimande indicated that as part of the RTRP, government hopes to address the challenges faced by the scholar transport and cross-border taxi operations. Under the RTRP, government will be extending the scope beyond the scrapping of the balance of 135,894 old taxi vehicles to include several other elements. Firstly, this entails the development of sustainable, commercially viable RTRP management solutions, commercial enterprises, and a sustainable in taxi industry. Secondly, by gaining statistical insight into illegal taxi operations countrywide, this information will then be used by the Department of Transport to undertake proper planning and embark on appropriate interventions. Thirdly, the Department of Transport aims to use the RTRP to unify the taxi industry by introducing collaborative ownership and operating models using structures such as cooperatives and cooperatization. Can you tell us more about how Anthos plans to implement the program? Anthos has established Ta Taxi Recapitalization South Africa, or TRSA, as the trading entity that will implement the RTRP. TRSA has already established sites in nine provinces. These are operational and ready to receive applicants. TRSA has already started with the process to scrap the illegally converted Toyota panel vans as per the remedial action set out by the public protector. Of 2,535 illegally converted panel vans, 436 have already been retrofitted. The remaining 1,917 illegally converted vans would have to be scrapped and owners will receive an allowance if the operators have an operating license or permit. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.